This is the best time and company I've had ever since I returned. Really? Yeah. Aside the insightful argument I had with Adana earlier today. <laughs> I guess I missed out. And um, what did you argue about? Um, the prince also loves motivational quotes, but like a typical blue blood. He doesn't like anything that elevates a woman. Um... Well, I'm not totally against that. Just that I'm trying to find a justifiable reason to what was said and why I should accept it. Do I manage to convince you? Not really. Maybe some other time when I come back here. Probably <laughs> you manage to convince me. No, I'll be the one to do the convincing. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, it was nice meeting you. The pleasure is indeed mine, Your Highness. Yeah. and presentations. This is good news. The type of report I want on my team. 
I highly commend you for doing great. Thanks, Mom. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. And you, Adeze, how did the meeting go? You know how important that client is to us. Like, seriously? Are you just reminding me now? I I'm not reminding you. This is close of work. It is supposed to have been a done deal. I don't say that I'm reminding you. I'm sorry, Mom. Something came up. Something came up? What could be more important than the source of food and well-being of this family? You know how important that client is to us and you stood him up. Mother, just my humble suggestion. If you say it is important, as you say it is now, don't you ever trust me with it. Oh. Adana enjoys taking care of important things. She's driven. That is a what's wrong with you. Oh, tell me, when will you ever be useful to yourself and to this family? When will you ever do something reasonable for yourself? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm such a disappointment. Not your perfect, shining daughter, Adana. of Zobodo Kingdom, the prince that brings life to his people, the heir apparent to the throne. Your father, the king, is delighted to welcome you back. It shall be well with you. He said. It shall be well with you. He said. It shall be well with you. He said. Thank you so much, Father. <laughs> My son. My priceless son, the finest of them all. The light that shines and darkness disappears in Zobu the kingdom. The next ruler of this great kingdom. My priceless ornament. Your mother, the queen, welcomes you back home. No, no. Thank you so much, ma'am. Afumwe Lutanna. Omekanya. I so much appreciate you. You're welcome, Bob, Thank sir. you so much. Thank you so very much, Mother. And thank you so much, Father. Yeah, I'm so welcome. glad to be back home. You're welcome, my son. Thank you. <laughs> sister and not my mother. So adjust your tone when talking to me. Do I detect sarcasm and contempt in your tone? Adeze, I worry about you. Someone who drives and drinks is a little closer to the grave. So what do we call someone who work and walk her life without having any form? Isn't she a walking corpse? Adeze, you spend and relax in all those places because I work very hard. 
to make sure that money never run dry in our company's account. So that is why I'm so grateful to you. So we have to continue to work and make sure I have a comfortable life. You can take over the company and become the boss leader. I won't even bother you. I don't even have any interest in running or competing with you in our father's company. What I want is just go for shopping and have fun and marry a powerful and stinking rich man. You see, that is my ambition. And working in our father's company is not part of that. Do you get it? Adesi. Adesi, come back here, Adesi. Adesi, come back here. Thanks for being my sister for just a minute. Did you look at the princess of town? Have you seen her? Wow. So this is that most important thing that made me help my mom. Well, I've not seen the prince. But for information, I'm too busy trying to keep the family business than running after the prince. I was too serious all the time. You know what? You always told me to find myself a man and settle down. I've decided to make Prince mine. Good luck to that. I'm going to it. Thank you. Miss Paul. Say you have been drinking, right? Yes, mom. Why? Am I not allowed to pour my assignment? I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I'm worried that you drink and drive. You're not only a danger to yourself on the highway, what do you add to other motorists? Oh, come on, Adana. It was just a short distance. I met with the prince. He's so, so handsome. <laughs> My encounter with him made me drunk. A mom that made sense. Oh. My God. Just, no, no. Who did this to you? 
Eh? Just when I feel it is getting better, you're getting worse. Come on, Mom. We are looking at the future queen of this kingdom. Mom, you think... Mom, look, you think I'm senseless, right? One day, I'm going to make you proud. I'm giving you grandchildren of royal descent. <laughs> Ma, I'm sure when she finds a purpose and drive, she'll be less drunk and stay focused. Just give her some time, okay? Some time? Yes, Mom. I know she will change. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Her. Mom, she will change. Let's continue with what we were doing. She's troublesome. She's arrogant. She's devious. She lacks respect. She's wild. <laughs> oh my God. Babe, <laughs> huh? this doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> like, how did you learn how to win a man's heart? by becoming his enemy. Haven't you heard the saying? Opposite attracts. The prince is used to women groveling around him, but he has met a woman who doesn't care about his status and stands up to him. <laughs> and you feel that is a good thing? <laughs> oh my dear, that was such an unforgettable experience. I'm sure right now he'll be dying of curiosity to know where I'm from and who I am. <laughs> Babe, uh -huh. you just have to be very careful. Yes, you do not want to incur the loss of royal house simply because of strategy to be noticed by the press. He doesn't want it at all. <laughs> Worry about yourself, my dear. Worry about yourself. Anyway, I wish you all the best, my darling. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> my strategy is working. Emeka, you are my childhood friend. We played like equals. Why are you overdoing it? My prince and my best friend. I know once upon a time we seemed like equals when we played together. But the reality is we are never equals. You are the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne. And I'm your personal assistant. Friendship apart, I will discharge my duty as your personal assistant, my prince. Why am I not so surprised? You take things too seriously. You take things to the extremity. So tell me, where do you suggest we go? <sighs> to punish that saucy commander for daring to talk to my prince in that way. We'll make an example out of her. You're right. But I cannot waste my time on some girl who lacks proper home training. Let Jesse know her. Otherwise, we'll be giving her existence some importance. Come on, we've got better things to do.
majesty. Ah. <laughs> Seeing you two makes me want to get married. Yeah, but then again, I realize it's not everyone who is lucky in rulership and love. Let me tell you something. <laughs> My son eh, will be lucky. Yes. Because luck runs in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> your father is right, son. You're a good man and a good future king. You will naturally attract a good woman that will become the future queen. It's good you brought up this subject because I've been itching to discuss it. You know, the neighboring kingdom of Zaza, so as to bring unity and security in both kingdoms. Not only that, my son, my very good friend, Ikemba Tu of Oswala, eh, have suggested that we really bring this relationship closer so as to have their daughter married to you. <laughs> I like that. My son is now the most wanted bachelor. <laughs> Why won't he be? He is handsome. Gentle and energetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mother. You're welcome, son. But honestly, I'm not interested in any woman. Hmm. Yeah. They come with their own fair share drama. And as far as the crown is concerned, I don't want to make things more complicated. So, I am not interested in getting married, at least not any time soon. You see, just like ascending the throne is your responsibility to your people. And then finding a queen. This matter should not be discussed at all. A fact, a fact, your getting married is a must. Yes. That's a good time.
I'm so tired. Mentally and physically on top of me. You should be. It is nice to see you working on something serious for the first time. Quit the suckers and it doesn't suit you. I'm not sarcastic. Just that you've made stock in the print a full-time business. It is a very difficult thing, you know. But I'm getting this attention and that's not rewarding anymore. Adesi, if you can put this determination and drive into bringing the prince to invest in our family business, we will be unstoppable, you know. But then, uh, I've told you time and time that I have no intention of dragging the business stuff my duty. That is your thing. I have no interest in competing. Just keep working, sis. While I become the future queen of this kingdom. how angry he was. He even threatened to kill me. That means I must have gotten under his skin. <laughs> and you think this is a good thing? It's not completely bad. At least I have gotten his attention. So the next thing to do now is just to flip from enemy to lover. Lovers? Yes, just to change the narrative. <sighs> Wait. You mean lovers? <laughs> Let me understand this. You mean to tell me you will continue to show yourself at him? <sighs> Baby girl, you don't have to do this because he will consider you as a stalker. <laughs> and that will be embarrassing, you know that. Come on, baby girl. That is if I'm being too obvious. So let me tell you something. I and Desi have successfully slept with my sister's boyfriend. Not one, not two, not three, but four. Did you think I made that by being obvious? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you something. The act of seduction applies mind game and, and not body movement. Be calm down, eh? You're always talking about ruining your sister's happiness as if it's something to be proud of. Can we not digress? We're talking about getting the prince. Full costume wear. We're talking about now to transit from enemy to lover. But I have to make favorable coincidences. I think I have a perfect plan. Really? Just a simple bam once a little way. Just change that. Narrative, just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so very soon, you're looking at the future way of this kingdom. <laughs> just one knuckle. Are you serious? One knuckle. <laughs> I wish you all the best, baby girl. <laughs> Thank you, darling. And cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Talking about the lunch, you know, I've thanked you before, and I want to say thank you again because it was so, so delicious. <laughs> well, in actual fact, I should be thanking you even more. Because if you weren't around, I would have lost my phone for good. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I was able to save the day. But I'm not satisfied with your kind of appreciation. Hmm. Ask anything more. The prince is very benevolent. Really? Just say it and I will do it so I can return to the palace. I should be in the palace by now. Please, my prince, uh, since you said you're in a hurry, I would want you to visit again. There's this game I want us to play together. I want to teach you. That's all. That's it? Yes, my prince. Okay. Yes. Consider it done. Wow. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Okay. I promise to visit again. Okay, my prince. You have a nice day. No, I must see you to the car. Sure. Yes, absolutely. You seem to be in a very good mood. What is going on? Yes, Mom, everything is cool. The prince brought me home today. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very impressive. So your hours of stalking the prince has finally paid off. How can you be so contemptuous? Why? You have to know that I'm getting the attention of someone so important. Do you wish it is you? The prophet, shining daughter of Margaret. Enough. Enough, both of you. Stop this bickering. Mom, I wasn't trying to cause a fight. I wanted to congratulate her. You know it's not easy to get the attention of the prince. I'm sorry I don't need it. Because that's fake as you are. Anyway, mother, I want you all to prepare. Because very soon, We'll be in laws to the royal house. <laughs> it's okay, Adeze. I love your positivity. Oh. But I want you to be extremely careful so you don't get hurt. Oh, mother, it feels so good to know that you still care about me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I really do. Okay. I mm -hmm. love both of you. You are my babies. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember the, the crazy commoner you always asked me to punish? You mean she recovered what was stolen? She doesn't like you. Why would she help you? But I guess uh, I judged her wrongly. It was not your fault, my friends. Her first impression was bad. She's a very brave girl. Very brave. And I think we are going to be her friend. I will visit her house to properly appreciate her for what she has done. She has come to my aid. My Prince, please allow me to accompany you everywhere you go now. The king will not be pleased if I left you alone. 
But that was my request. They shouldn't blame it on you. Come, let's go. Your Highness, you said you have taken me out. Yeah, I would like to take you to my favorite spot in the palace. Wow, that sounds good. Please, can you give me some minutes? Let me give you a chance to something more. That's good. Okay. I'll be right back. Mosaro has goods. You better treat her like a queen if you want to be treated like a king. You can drive a cell to madness for the king to meet by a grace wheel. Grace wheel? A very intelligent woman. But as lawyer, as a future king, I can't believe a woman can die. Your Highness. You're here. I'm good. Ah, Adeze, Madonna, she's my twin sister. Oh! <laughs> I believe you got twins. Yes, Your Highness. Okay. But well, I'm actually here to take Adeze out. I'm sorry for interrupting. I have no problem. Yeah, but I'm interested in it. How can a woman get king? Greatness, Your Highness. A woman is a goddess. Very tender, yet strong. Fragile, yet strong. Like in a game of chess, a woman is considered very powerful, capable of saving the king. Don't you think a woman like that can drive the king to his limits? Maybe gratitude. You're not different. Not so much. It's still only for <laughs> For whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wonderful time. Thank you. <laughs> You're actually an uh, inspirational, motivational quotes. It's one of my many heroes. I see you have something in common. <laughs> Thank you. It was actually refreshing. You're welcome. I wish you good luck. This is the best time and company I've had ever since I returned. Really? Yeah. Aside the insightful argument I had with Adana earlier today. <laughs> I guess I missed out. And um, what did he argue about? Um, the prince also loves motivational quotes, but like a typical blue blood. He doesn't like anything that elevates a woman. Um... Well, I'm not totally against that. Just that I'm trying to find a justifiable reason to what was said and why I should accept it. Do I manage to convince you? Not really. Maybe some other time when I come back here. Probably <laughs> do manage to convince me. No, I'll be the one to do the convincing. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, it was nice meeting you. The pleasure is indeed mine, Your Highness.
Yeah. I just say, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Studying, of course. I see. But you've always hated this thing, court book. Uh, he said it's boring. What well, about them still haven't changed? I'm glad to find out that the prince likes this boring thing called books. If I can learn and master the quotes, you know, we'll get along very well. Like um, having things in common? Exactly. And shared some sort of experiences. <laughs> can you just leave me now? I need to master them when next they come. I need to impress him. You're welcome. Excuse me, sis. Thanks for making me know the other side of it. You're welcome. Just um, a little bonus tips. Don't just let the quotes. Build an argument around it. Because the prince will always make you doubt what you believe. Do you hear me? I just learned like that. You're trying to show me that you know the prince more than I do in just one day. Ah! Notice me or I die. Hmm. But this thing is hard though. I don't even know where to start. I've been looking from beginning to here. Help me, help me. Ah. Just say I'm enjoying my stay for the very first time. <laughs> my king, our prince here must have started seeing someone. Who is she? Tell me, who is this beauty that moved your stony heart? <laughs> Come on, mother, my life is not a movie. I'm not in love. But you can't deny seeing someone. Who is this girl? Is she a princess? Or daughter of a chief? Um, let's just say she's a middle class girl. Yeah. I said it. <laughs> I said it. That sooner or later, our son will get fascinated by someone. My king. Ah, so the prince is interested in someone. N no, more like curious, that's all. But what is the difference? Interest leads to curiosity. Exactly. See, my son, any time you find this girl and you love her, don't hesitate to let your mother and I know. Please, son. Well, maybe it's not going to be any time soon. <laughs> oh, please, may we proceed to the dining room? Oh, sure. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, Of course I did. Okay, let me see. Wow! 
It's so beautiful, right? This is so, so beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, my darling. Thanks. It's okay. You know, I trust your judgment, so I don't need to test it. I know. <laughs> Babe, what is the occasion you're planning to attend that you decided to rent a royal dress? The print is visiting. Uh -uh. It is not his first time visiting. Is he taking you to somewhere classy <laughs> and aristocratic? Uh, it could be. You know, I want to look my best when next day comes. <laughs> Babe, I understand that he is the prince uh -huh. and his royalty. But I advise you to be you. Make it natural. What will be will be. What happens when you cannot keep up with renting up this dress? Oh, come on. Can you stop for a minute and be happy for me? You need to be my friend and not a bickering old woman. Come on. You know how hard I worked to get here. Okay. I think he really likes me. Really? <laughs> yes. It's really happening, Chingwe. It's really happening. I'm finally getting closer to fulfilling my dreams of becoming the future queen of this kingdom. Wow. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Thanks, my darling. Wait. But until the prince tells you how he feel about you, just calm down. Don't expect too much. I am happy for how far you have gone. It's not easy getting his attention. You know that. <laughs> Even making him visit regularly is huge. Congratulations in advance. Thanks, my darling. What I, I am have. happy for All you. All I know is that I am soon going to be the future queen. Ah. <laughs> Please. Don't forget me. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> you always be there with me. We're going to run things in the kingdom. You know how we do it. I mm? know. <laughs> Baby. It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play. Hello? Adesi? Where are you? Are you expecting the prince today? Oh my god. I saw him live with your sister. Adana! How am I supposed to know where they were going? Just hurry. I am waiting. Okay? Very, very, very much refreshing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Did you notice you've been smiling, Your Highness? Well, I guess it's obvious that I'm happy you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Hadeza would have loved to visit the palace. Hadeza mm -hmm. can always come visit him at any time. <laughs> <laughs> So I uh, think it's time for lunch. Yeah, Don't mind? I'm still enjoying the freshness of the palace. Enjoying the freshness of the palace. <laughs> you know, I feel burdened. I... So much expectations. I don't have an idea of becoming or how to be a good king to my people. Your Highness. It is rare to see a future king admit to his weaknesses and uncertainty. Why are you telling me this? Let's just say I can trust you. I just strength from your company. Your presence is so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. I'm humbled by your compliments. If my words will be of any help, Thank you, good man. I will someday make a fine ruler. A kingdom draws strength from the king. And the king draws strength from his queen. I pray you find a woman who will trust in your abilities and greatness to rule beside you. Thank you. Thank you, Adana. <laughs> no thanks. I'm glad my words were aspiring. Of course they were. <laughs> Very aspiring. <sighs> so, uh, I'll take you around. Okay. Uh, since you're not ready for lunch, <laughs> I'll take you on the other side of the palace. Okay. The pl palace is indeed beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Hello, my darling. You're welcome. I hope I did not keep you waiting for long. It's okay. I was prepared. Oh. So, what's up? Have you called the prince? Considering you both we are supposed to meet today. I've been calling, but he's not picking my calls. How can he pick your call when he's having a good time with your sister? And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Babe. You need to see these people together. They look so happy, like a couple. If I didn't know anything about them, I would have thought they were dating. I don't know what you think you saw, but the prince I know likes me so much. And it's natural for him to be nice to my twin sister. My dear, I saw more than that. Honestly, what I saw, <laughs> I saw a picture of a man adoring his woman. <laughs> I think he's into your sister. <laughs> no, there's no way. The prince has been constantly visiting her to see me. I guess two of them being together alone, they must have been planning a surprise proposal for me. Really? And it's no good for me to know beforehand. <laughs> So you trust him to that extent? Of course I do. You do? Yes. Hey! You trust a man like that. You go to trust man. Man! Hang on. My dear, you just have to be careful. I am telling you. You don't have to trust these people like this. Okay, let me ask you something. What if he really liked you? And after meeting your sister, Good. How 
come he didn't tell me you were coming? Um, he called me and I said it would be nice to have him around. Yes, it's always nice to have you around. But I thought you always had to see me. Yes, I do. Uh, except that Adana here became my friend. So I'm actually here to see the both of you. <laughs> As for the calling, I, uh, for the fact that both of you live together, it's obvious that she's definitely going to tell you that I called. Well, she didn't. Imagine how surprised I am to see you. You have not been picking my calls. Why? And I was told that you visited the other day and went out with her dinner. Yes. Um, he took me to the palace. The palace is beautiful. I only wish you were there with us. Wow. <laughs> I always wanted to be the first to visit the palace. I guess her desert did before me. And she's always getting things before I do. Isn't she lucky? Huh? Uh, <clears throat> not to worry, okay? I would definitely give you a tour of the palace. Okay. <laughs> She's troublesome, she's arrogant, she's devious, she lacks respect, she's wild and contemptuous. Prince of the phone. Mm -hmm. He has accepted to invest. Thank you. I really appreciate you for making this happen, Adana. It's not a mean. We only talked about the family business. And he said it's a nice thing to invest in our company. Like seriously? Even when I'm the one who met and introduced the prince to this family, I am still not appreciating. Getting it all wrong, my love. I know that the prince is coming to this family because of you. <laughs> but I don't think you have ever mentioned this business to him. And then I did. And that is why I am commending her for making a great move to secure this great investment. Wow! Will I ever be worthy in this family, mother? Will I ever get an applause? What will it take, mother, for you to appreciate me and not let me feel like a dead shadow? Answer me, mother! You don't want to talk! You don't want to talk! Why can't I have a cordial and peaceful discussion with my own daughter? Why? She is troublesome, she is arrogant, she is devious, she lacks respect, she is wild and contemptuous. What do you think you're doing? Can't you see what I'm doing? I don't care about the stupid thing you're doing. I'm talking about your recent closeness with the prince. Are you trying to steal him from me? No. The prince requested for my presence. Do you expect me to disobey his summon? <laughs> Obedient, respectful Adana. Come on, quit the excuses. You never had time for anything because you, you all swarmed up with work. But now you have the time to spend with the parents. Why don't you tell him that you're busy running the company? What is it? Did you drink? Oh, come on. No, I drink anytime I wish. We're not talking about my alcoholic needs. So don't change the subject. You know I like the prince, and I've never wanted anyone in my life to where I want him. Please, back 
off. If you must be around him, just help me have him. Uh, I'm sorry, Adese. I, I never knew meeting with the prince without your consent. We are nephew. I promise to make you have a perfect love story. And that will make me happy. So, back the hell off. She's troublesome. She's arrogant. She's devious. She lacks respect. She's wild and contemptuous. Who is she? She's a betrayer. Why? I told you, you would love the place I want to take you. That's nice, Your Highness, but I will respectfully decline. Do I bore you? Why is it that you don't like hanging out with me? Your Highness, you know I run our family business. And I have a lot to do. Well, I was looking forward to a very good company. Who said you're out of options? Adesa is here and I know she would love to go out with you. But I love your company the more. Your Highness, you said both of us are your friends. Why not share the time equally? Well, fine, I'll go out to Adesa this time around. But please make some time out for me. No problem, Your Highness. <laughs> <coughs> Could I be mistaken? This girl looks very much like the other one. Are they related? You're not wrong, mother. She's actually the twin sister to the other girl that was here a few days ago. Wow. You seem so excited. With the other one. But today, you sound like someone who is obligated to take her on a tour. <laughs> Mother, when did you become a detective? You are seeing things too much these days. Isn't it obvious? I mean, you were laughing and your eyes were shining like, um, you know, I don't know how to put it. You were just happy. Well... My hands are up. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Adesia has been calling me. We are not taking our calls. I wish you'd stop calling me. I'm not interested in her. But you've been calling Adanna, and she's not returning your calls. That is what I don't understand. I don't know why she's avoiding me. She obviously is. Why do I detect a triangular love story here? Adeze liking you, you liking Adanna. Well, that's because you watch too much romantic movies. I think I need to go and check on Adana. I'm a potential investor within her company. She's supposed to treat the professional and pick my calls. How do you expect her to take it professional when you're not professional about it yourself? Will you just shut up. <laughs> like I've had it here with you and the Queen all in my private life. Give this a try again. He's not picking my calls. He 
continues to ignore me. Adese, he may be busy. He's the future king. You don't expect him to be by his phone 247. I didn't ask for your suggestion in this matter. I know what you're doing. You backed off and continue to ignore his calls because you want to prove to me that you are the good one. The big and kind hearted sister. I ruined your relationship. I messed with your happiness. Yet you are refusing to take your crown of flesh. Instead, you play nice and supportive. How does it? I'm getting confused. You specifically asked me to back off, which I did. Why are you pissed? Because you behave like you are both certain human emotions. Like hate and the need for revenge. But I know how silly you are. You enjoy the fact that he's crazy to meet you. Yet he ignores my call. The feeling is refreshing, isn't it? Ah, does it? I've watched you blame me for your disappointment and, and failure. I have suffered for being good when you're not. Now listen. We are grown up now and this has to stop. And yes, the, the prince is the man you want. Go and get him and stop blaming me for things not getting as expected. Back off. Disappear. You are the curse. You are the curse. I guess I am not. The prince is the man. Go after him and stop blaming me. Live my life. And yes, I don't want to touch you because you're drunk. But next time you accuse me, you will see the other side of me. And then now. And then now. I said disappear. And then go after the prince and leave me the hell alone. And then now. I don't know what I'm What is going on? Have I said or done something wrong to you? Not in your highness. Why do you think so? So why you've been avoiding my calls? I should ask his highness the same question. You've been avoiding my calls, making me believe you've been very busy. But it seems you have some free time to drive down to ask my sister Adana why she has been avoiding your calls. I am the prince of this kingdom, your future king. I owe you no explanation. That is very harsh, your highness. Are we not supposed to be friends? I dare say. Can we all be quiet for some minutes? The prince is an important investor. I've been all professional not to be picking his calls. I'm sorry, your highness. Apology accepted. But this is not about business. I need us to talk. Can we go somewhere private and talk? I'm um, sorry, I can't. I'm already late to work. I'm 
and then we say, Okay, I will get straight to it. I like the things. What? I think I will not do it. I'm staying away from you because. Oh, you lie! Odds. Odds. I knew it. Then we will let go. Finally, we have been relaxed. I have seen how pretentious you are. I have told you that I am not for the things that is my life and you're going to have to fall in love with me. I did not plan for this to happen. Whatever that happens to my heart is something that I can't control. I need data. Not at the moment, but the things in the back. I'm full of information. You do not have my blessings to do with it. If you truly love me, you want me to be happy. I want you to be back. Back the head off. She is troublesome, she is arrogant, she is devious, she lacks respect, she is wild and contemptuous. Who is she? Well, I owe you an apology. I mean, it was wrong of me not to pick your fault. Besides, we're very good friends. Apology accepted. After all, we're good friends. And if the gods approve, we'll be more than friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More like in-laws. Like brothers and sisters. <laughs> Is that a joke? And what does that supposed to mean? Um, Adese. There's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. As my special friend, I need you to help me win your sister's heart. Because I never believe I will admit this openly. I'm in love with your sister. <laughs> wow. You, you like my sister, Adana? Yes. And... You want to have a relationship with her? Most definitely. Oh, that's fantastic. You see, ever since I've not seen or heard from her, I've been so miserable. And I told myself, that must be love. Mm. That's so great. But we're twins. Identical twin sister. Can I ask you, what is so special about my sister? Well, I'm not good with comparison. I've never compared both of you. You see, ever since I heard Adina speak, there's something moved within me. And she completes my world. <laughs> I'm in love with her. <laughs> okay, but let me ask again. What does she have that I don't have? I thought I am, I am more appealing than my twin sister. What you see is not about the face, it's not about the look. There is something unique about her, but like you said, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Please, let's leave that for another day. Can you <laughs> please just do me a favor and win your sister's affection for over to me? <laughs> Okay, I, I will. Thank you. I know you will. As my very good friend, I know you will. You always be begging me. And trust me, I have a bigger surprise. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Babe, did you bring me out to watch you drown your sorrows? Are you not smart? I called you here to be my designated driver. I am drinking and I cannot take myself home. But with your clear head, 
he can drive us home safely. Babe, what is this on about? He rejected me. He did not even consider me an option. That idiot is crazy about my twin sister, Nana. Like one under a spell. But I told you, I told you about it. That he has feelings for your sister. But you never believed me. Okay, now see. The, that ungrateful bitch. She is just. She was just waiting for the day. She will pay me back and snatch my happiness just like I did to her in the past. Just tell me what is so special about my sister Dana. Tell me. Don't even go there. She's intelligent and charismatic. Since your father died, she has shouldered your family responsibility. Are you trying to rub it on my face? No. No. God. Just tell me that I am the loser twins. One without a bright star. But I tell you something. That my sister is dry and boring. All she does is what I read that boring quotes. But I tell you, the prince will return to me when he realized that my sister is not fun to be with. I tell you. Oh. So, you have no intention of giving up? What? Give what? Until the prince becomes mine. The prince. It doesn't matter it how long mine. it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play. One day every secret must be your time nothing can stop you what will be will be what's written is written all it needs is time all it needs is time what is it? you came back again drunk today what is bothering you why are you pretending you look there you must see the something that you're doing this Because your life is not a game. What are you talking about? What happened? I get to you talk so soon to your places. I never thought that anything so bad in this life that did me the right to I want the place at all. But if you feel I have influence over him, I will just talk to the prince and put a good words about it to him. I'm sad sitting in that place. Do that for me. And you know, be your happiness for me. Yes, I guess. I will do anything for you. Yeah, this is your
Greetings, Your Majesty. May you continue to lose Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I've always seen you from a distance. But now I know you are such a black beauty. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. I'm here to see the prince. Oh. Mm. Um, Dad, can you please give me a moment with her, please? <laughs> You're welcome. happy you decided to visit. Why you look sad? Because my sister is sad. Your Highness, Adesa is in love with you. And she has been miserable not being with you. Please, just give her a chance. I promise she's fun and will make you happy. So what do I do with that case? The heart wants what it wants. I've already told her that I'm in love with you. Yeah. And I can't switch my feelings. Adana, you complete me. I'm happy with you. And I'm so happy to love you. And I just wanted to be that way. I don't want anyone else to do it. I'm in love with you. Just you. It's okay. Okay, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Boom. As I live and breathe. That was the majesty calling. Wow. <laughs> so, mother, what did she say? She said that the royal family wants to get married to one of my daughters. So, I have been summoned to the palace to further discuss about the future alliance marriage with the royal family. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Did they say which of your daughter? Didn't you ask why reminding them that you have two daughters? But it is obvious, is it not? <laughs> it must be Adeze. <laughs> she met with the prince and made the prince visit our home. Yeah. Yes, and you know she has been saying it that um, very soon we are going to be in-laws with the royal family. So all those things she has been saying has come to pass. Yes, mother, I said I will become the future queen. And that is who I'm going to become. <laughs> the future queen of this oh kingdom. My oh my God. I'm so uh, happy. <laughs> I'm happy oh. for your sister. Thanks, mother. Are you not happy for me? I don't know. Your Majesties, I am privileged that you found my family worthy of such a prestigious alliance. <laughs> yeah, you see, my son's happiness is my topmost priority. Yes. If it is in your daughter that his happiness lies, I tell you, I will move mountains to actualize it. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen my son so happy the way he is since he met your daughter. 
You know my son is a gentle man. He wouldn't want to rush things. But at the same time, the royal business cannot wait. And you know, very soon he will become a king. Exactly. And every king needs a queen besides him. This king will be very, very happy if you accept our marriage proposal. Oh, Your Majesties, I have two daughters. Though I can guess the particular one the prince is interested in, but for clarity purposes, which of my daughters do you seek for her hand in marriage for the prince? I don't know, of course. That girl left a lasting impression in me the last time I saw her. Madam Margaret, I must say that you raised a graceful and elegant young lady. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank welcome. you for the kind words and acknowledgement. No. But, um, you mean Adana or Adeze? Oh my goodness. I am talking about Adana. My son has not stopped talking about her since he met her. I am of a strong opinion that my son loves your daughter so very much. Oh, my mother, how did it go at the palace? We have a royal proposition for marriage alliance. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but wait, how did it change? I mean, his interest. How? How do you mean, mother? You already know. You already know. Mother is talking about how I made my feelings about the prince known and how I actively stalked and brought him home. Yes. Adesa is the one that has indicated her interest in the prince. Yes. She wanted the prince, but the royal family in turn wants Adana. They want the prince and Adana to get married. So I, I, don't, I don't understand. Adana, do you love the prince? Mother, it doesn't matter if she loves him or not. Adana, you must say no. Marriage doesn't happen by mere proposal. There's room for rejection. Adana, you must say no. He is mine, and you know it. Adese, the prince is not a thing to be toyed with or passed from one person to another. He equally has feelings. Mother, if Adana rejects him, he will hear when I show him kindness and he will fall in love with me. That is the only way there will be peace in this house. Adana, look at me. I say look at me. You must say no. Did you hear me? You must say no. Hey! It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be. You asked to see me, is everything okay? Your Highness, what are you doing? I don't understand. Knowing you fully well that Adeze is in love with you, you still went ahead to ask your parents to push you a marriage alliance between me and you as your chosen bride. I can't be responsible for Adeze's feelings. Not everyone we fear for belongs to us. And I'm very sure with time, Adizi will understand that I'm in love with you. Your Highness, I can never marry you. Not without Adizi's blessing. Adizi has to be okay that I'm marrying you. She's my only sibling. She's my twin and I love her so much. And there's no reason why I'm crazy about you. She's my only sibling. My twin sister, and I love her so much. And that's why I'm crazy about you. Because you put everybody's feelings first. That's the future of a true queen. And you are going to be my queen. I'm very sure. I 
Adesi would adjust. I understand. If, as it, if Adesi truly loves you as much as you do, she'll be happy for you and celebrate you that you found love. She should be. Adesi, I love the prince, and I think I'm going to accept his marriage proposal. No, you won't. The prince is not yours. He's mine. Remember when you mocked me that I'm stalking him? Don't you think I deserve him after all the hard work? I try to let go. If I walk out of the picture, the prince will not come for you. I'll be miserable. The prince will be miserable. And you will still not get what you want. That is the chance I am willing to take. The prince never liked me the moment we met. But I managed to change everything that he visited. If you were not in the picture, I, Adese, would have been the one in the prince's heart. Adese, you have ruined my relationship in the past. You have made me suffer. Now that I've found one opportunity to love, my sister, you need to be happy for me. At least if you have an idea of love. Adana. Reject that proposal, or you have me to go to work with you. Did you hear me? from me. She has taken away your love. The community's respect. And now she has taken away my happiness, mother. Adese, I understand how you feel right now. I know what it means to love someone and you're not loved in return. But you just have to let go. Okay? No, Mother. I've always known that a day will come when she will choose to pay me for sleeping with her fiancé and ruining her marriage. Mother, we have come to that day of vengeance, Mother. No. No. What, what, what if... This is not all about revenge. What if Adana is truly in love with the prince? Wouldn't you be happy for your sister? I knew it, mother. You will never see anything wrong in your perfect shining daughter. She's perfect. Everyone, including the prince, thinks so. I wish. I wish I was never born with her. Mother, I will not accept the fate of a loser. I will take it all. Because the prince is mine. The prince is mine, mother. He is mine. No, Adez, I'm not sure the prince will like this. Why? I think he prefers my natural way. Don't you like my recent closeness to you? I'm trying to make you beautiful for the prince, and you're not pushing me away. Okay. No, 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 no. You can apply it. Are you sure? Yes. Is it from your heart? <laughs> mm. If only you know my reason for doing this. If only you know. It doesn't matter how long it takes.
mistakes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play. a very expensive <laughs> ring. It speaks history and pricelessness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is beautiful. I always wondered how beautiful and expensive a royal engagement ring looks like. Thanks to you, I get to see and feel one. Wow. <laughs> Can I have a few, please? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how it tastes. Wow. <laughs> ah, la la. Mom, see. It's mm? Is it not beautiful? It is. The ring has come to its owner. Yes. This is the rightful finger and the owner of the ring. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you give it back to me, please? Oh, man, I'm shut up. I told you that the prince is mine and mine alone. What makes you think I will sit and watch your marriage take place? Not while I'm alive. No, no, no. Mom, did you see that? I know you are a very busy person. Having some patience with life-threatening situations. So I'm going to be brief. I'll go straight to the point. Um, those twins that are under your care, um, please give them adequate attention. Uh, very soon, they are going to be daughters of the royal family. Hmm? That's true, Doctor. Utilize everything at your disposal. Any amount required to bring in specialists into this. Do not hesitate to contact the royal family uh, yes your majesties um, I've already sent words to other surgeons um, we'll be working together as a team uh, so we can make sure that all the patients return to their usual selves Good. that is the kind of story I, like, I want to hear um, okay doctor you can go hmm? thank you your majesty thanks so much okay. <laughs> in the run <laughs> Okay. It doesn't matter how long it takes One day the truth must be revealed It doesn't matter how smart you play One day every secret must be revealed They are recovering very, very fast Thanks to their mother who was here and on time to donate blood. Uh, the, this one here suffered some temporary memory loss. Aside from the drugs that I have already prescribed, being around family members and familiar places will help her gain the memory in less than it. You are possibly there to make sure everything is okay. Okay, doctor, do whatever it takes, please. I can't wait to get in that. Thank you, my friend. Let me get one of the nurses. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. CMD arrived and signed the necessary documents, we will discharge them. Though we still consider them outpatients, you know, the injuries they sustained are mostly internal. Regular checkup and 
Frodo out. It's still essential. No problem, Doctor. Firstly, thank you very much, and I'll make sure that I bring them for their regular checkups. Oh, CMD is here. Uh, good day, Dr. James. My brains. I was already informed you here. Can you come with me to my office, please? Sure. Okay. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how smart you play. Yes, Mom. I'm happy to be home. I <sighs> missed her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mom, I I wish I can say the same thing. And everything looks strange. You can't even recognize me living here or my existence. I didn't say. This is just a temporary memory loss. I know that by the time you get settled, everything will come. And you will remember who you are and where you are. Mom is right. The medicine and the love will, you will get will help you fasten your memory loss. I am here. You have my full support. Let's go inside. Yes, Your Majesty. They are home now. And I really appreciate the King and the Queen for their kind assistance <laughs> all this while. Uh, Lady Margaret, we consider your family part of this royal family. Um, I thank God they made it alive. We actually called you here for something very important. Yes, as, uh, as you know, um, the Prince is engaged to your daughter. And actually, they were planning for their wedding before the unfortunate accident. But right now, we want to resume the planning for the wedding so that we can set a date aside for the royal wedding. And as we do that, the king wants Adana to move into the palace yes. and be groomed into becoming the future queen. Your Majesties, I cannot question your decision and authority, else my head will be removed from my body. But as a concerned mother, my daughters are still recovering. They might have been discharged from the hospital, but they are still outpatients. You see, your concerns are justifiable. Yes. As parents before becoming rulers, and your worries we understand. But you should know that in the palace, that's where you have the best physicians and medical attention. Exactly. Oh, my dear, 
I promise no pressure will be mounted on her. Mm. She will be well taken care of, as we will take consideration of her health. Exactly. I wish I can take you along with me. But duty calls. I understand. With no collection of who I am. And with you leaving, everything seems empty. Don't worry. Whenever I am free, I will come visit him. You should just hurry up and remember everything, okay? Okay. I will try. I can't help but feel lost. How fun sis. You're the feature queen. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Same here. Take care. And you too. Take care of yourself. Consider the palace your new home. Thank you, <laughs> Exactly, my dear. You're now a qualified member of this royal family. And how are you feeling? I am feeling good. I'm glad to hear that. I hope you like your room. Ah, is that you sounding poetic? That isn't like you. Adana is the only poetic one. Really? Mom, tell me. What was I like before the accident? I want to know. Okay. You like to party? Have fun, drink. You don't like working to earn money, but you like spending money. Was I like that? That was a picture of irresponsibility you just painted. Uh, you must have gone through a lot to contain my excesses. Uh -huh. 
my dear. I understand that you needed love and attention. Both of you did. But you, you demand for your own in a painstaking manner. Mom. I'm sorry for all I've done. I don't remember all that, but I promise going forward, I'll make you proud. And happy. It's okay. Don't cry, my baby kid. I love you. Get up. I love you so much. I love you. It's okay. By coming to the bar, I feel I've never been here. Is everything okay? Did you remember anything about who you are? Not yet. But my body and mind has been active. The things that I was told that I love is what my body hates. And the one they told me that I hate is what my body craves for. It is a whole maze of confusion. I see. I know this is a very confusing time for you. But you have to believe whatever they told you that you are. You were very irresponsible. You were the black sheep of the family. I don't know. I'm sorry for being the nuisance here. You might not say it, but I know you suffered greatly in the hands of a sister like me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Oh, love does not hold on to wrongs. As if it says, just live your life quietly. Do not stay up, okay? Just chill. Take your drink. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in bed. I am
where is your engagement ring? Oh, ah, it's too old and not fancy. I'm going to be royal, so I should be wearing expensive things. Something expensive like a tin corrupt gold. <laughs> ah. Are you serious? Yeah. Is this you talking? So you pretend to be mesmerized the first day I gave it to you just to impress me, right? <laughs> I have no idea about what you're talking. But that old ring can hardly mesmerize me. I need something new and very expensive. Oh. So you prefer something expensive over something priceless? Having historical and emotional value that cannot be quantified or monetized. That's what you prefer, right? It doesn't matter how long it takes One day the truth must be I was at the doctor's office today. He said that anything like face, sound, or even test will go a very long way to help you recover your memory. So you brought this stuff to help me remember what it tastes like and the pleasurable feelings I drive from taking it. Exactly. Do you know you're very intelligent and smart? Mom, she only gave me this stuff. I spat it out. I couldn't even swallow it. I detested it. I hate the taste and the smell. For the last time, please, don't you ever bring this stuff to me again. Oh, this is really strange. Uh, you used to love alcohol so much. Yes. The only person that detests alcohol with so much passion is your sister, Adana. So, uh, what has this accident actually done to you? This is very strange. Does amnesia affect this? Uh, you used to love alcohol a lot. The only person that detests alcohol the way you are doing now is your sister, Adana. What has this accident actually done to you? It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play. Your sister said I should say hi to you. <laughs> I can see you're working. Um, yes, mom. Some investors were threatening to pull out their investment. I paid them a visit. Pitched a new ideas that I'm working on. Instead, they added to their investment. You did all that? <laughs> yes, mom. I know I cannot remember who I was before the accident. But, um... A new me enjoys working on solving problems. I see. <laughs> so, it is still what it is. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. It don't you know your mommy again? I'm thinking of something that I know is quite impossible. <laughs> it's alright, my angel. Let's go ahead and walk, okay? Okay. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Mama. I love you. I love you too. Just continue with what you're doing, okay? Okay. 
Let me quickly fresh it up. Okay, welcome. All right, I am proud of you, my baby girl. Thanks, I love you. I love you too. Ah. Warm? Do you want me to scare you good for nothing? Nate, go and get us something warm and stupid. What was that? What was that all about? That was a scream. So am I not supposed to discipline the maid when they are drunk? That's not discipline. You dehumanize her. Sometimes I wonder, the Adana I fell for is very compassionate. I sound like I'm looking at a familiar stranger. What are you saying? Adana, it's just that since the accident, I've not been my usual self. Please, can you give me some time? You better get back to your usual self and ask the girl to marry you. It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play. <laughs> I am so happy that you found a woman you love. I can't wait to become a grandmother. <laughs> well, the truth is, I am happy that you are happy. Good. And of course, I'm not going to change my mind. But can we delay this wedding a bit? Huh? Why? What are you saying? I thought you love Adana. Son, are you having cold feet? You have to be brave. It is perfectly normal. But one thing you should bear in mind is this. Remind yourself why you got to this point in the, in the first place. You can't just let go like that. I'm not having cold feet, mother. So? The truth is, things are looking different. Adana is different. And I still need some time to study and observe her before we proceed with my response. <laughs> Maybe the accident alter her personality. But I still want her to be the woman I fell in love with before we can move on with any marriage activities. And that's what I'm asking for some time. I mean, you didn't think about this before or what? It's kind of complicated to that. Something just doesn't play the part. Right. Doesn't matter how smart you play. One day every secret must be unveiled. Nothing is hidden under the sun. When it's your time. Nothing can stop you. What will be will be. What's written is written. All it needs is time. They should go to the hospital. No, my prince. She has returned to the company. She's now spearheading the projects used to be handled by Adana. Can you imagine the surprise? Yeah. And Daisy never liked to work. That's something Adana does. But ever since Adana returned, she hasn't said anything about returning to work. Probably 
she's learning the mastery of the art of becoming royal and the future queen. Well, that could be it. But tell me, did you by any means notice um, any anger issue as a result of the accident, like being bitchy, you know, rude, uh, personality on the side of Adizi? Did you notice? No, 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 my prince. Um, since after the accident, she has become a new person. In fact, she's now a different version of herself. More perfect. But the only thing she's struggling with is um, trying to recollect who she was before the accident. Well, in that case, I would suggest uh, she come and live with us in the palace. I mean, she will have access to first-class royal physicians. <laughs> but my prince, uh, will the king and the queen like it? Adizi is family. The royal house loves family. I think the most important thing is that you are going to miss her. You're going to be left alone. But again, you could also join us if you wish. Ah, no. <laughs> I am fine. In fact, I'll be fine. Uh, if I miss them, I'll come to the royal house to see them. And meanwhile, I'll talk to others about it. Okay, then. I guess I have to take my leave. It's okay, my prince. I am in pain. I am such decisions on your own. I didn't. Your mother agrees with me. And my opinion does not matter to you. She's my sister, and I have a say in this matter. Seems like you're not too pleased with your sister coming to the palace. Even after I told you that we need her to access the best treatment to speed up our recovery. Don't get me wrong, my prince. You do not know my sister like I do. My sister has always been useless. She drinks, parties, and sleeps around with strange men. Since the accident, she has focused on something for the first time. You see, she's trying to do something good for her life and the family and bringing her to the palace. I think we'll be in which distraction. Well, not to worry. I understand your worries, okay? okay. We will try to keep her focused. But I will also need you to look after your sister and give her the support that she needs, like the way you did before the accident. Time with you like this. Yeah. That makes me remember the good old days. Yes. The time we couldn't wait to see each other. <laughs> so tell me, what was that initial spark that bonded us? What was that thing we had in common? Oh, <laughs> it was our love for good things and nature. And that was what we had in common and that was our initial spark <laughs> surprising uh-huh i didn't expect you to forget how we bonded and got interested in each other by means of royal inspirational quotes wow yes yes i remember although they were boring 
but we both loved it. <laughs> you didn't find it boring? You were crazy about it. Even though we had a little bit of argument, yeah. Oh yes, I remember. I seem to be, oh God, this damn accident. I seem to be the one forgetting things when my sister does it, is the one with amnesia. Isn't that strange? Yeah. It's very strange. <laughs> very strange. Yes. It is indeed a privilege for having me in your royal home. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? You don't have to worry about anything. We will give you a royal treatment. Just focus on your recovery. Thanks for your generosity and love. Your Highness, thanks for your concern. I will never forget this your benevolence. That shouldn't be your problem. Like His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen said, just concentrate on your health. Exactly. Anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. Come on, the maids will show you to your room. Maids? I mean This one you are holding is my favorite. Really? Of course. I like it too. I've been craving to read the act of war the second time. The act of war? <laughs> the act of war actually is one of my favorite books. Yeah. But look at you. What do you know about raging wars and conquering territories? <laughs> it talks about taking your enemies by surprise and being a step ahead of them in terms of plans and action. Hmm. But I guess I've met my match. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't know you were into this. I felt this feeling the very first time I met your sister, I don't know. Really? We're sisters, twin sisters. There's great possibility that both of us are passionate about the same thing. Hmm. Yeah. I agree with you. Your Highness, I hope I'm not overstepping. If I may ask, why is the royal wedding still on hold? Well, I guess the royal wedding will fasten the process of me becoming your king, and I'm not ready for that. But you have my sister's ruling beside you. You will make a fine king. And when the going gets tough, you draw your strength from the queen. You know, you sound so familiar. This is exactly how I felt when I was with Adana. I couldn't just wait to get married to her and become a king. So what are you waiting for? She's still here. Why are you hesitating? She seems different. Completely different. I am... Um, the way I enjoy talking to you right now is the way I felt when I was with Adana before the accident. Your Highness, you know we have been through a lot together. Just give us some time. Uh, let's see what happens. She's troublesome. She's arrogant. She's devious. She lacks respect. She's wild and contemptuous.
What are you doing here? I wish to be left alone. That's why I'm here. You are talking to the prince. You should watch your tongue. <laughs> really? What do you want? Isn't Adese an excellent company? You're drunk. I thought you hated the smell of alcohol. Why are you drinking it? <laughs> Let me turn the pressure in the palace. It seems that Adese, my sister, seems to be getting your attention. Do you think you like her? That's a very inappropriate assumption. She is your sister, and that makes her family. Am I supposed to treat her like a total stranger? Or are you getting jealous? <laughs> what if I am? Huh? And I would say, it's unlike you. The Adana that I knew is very secure, smart, and loving. I want to see her face, but not her personality. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play. Fried chicken and juice. Children. Ash! Five minutes, get to it. Get out! <laughs> Jim, I missed you so much. I missed you too, my darling. Oh, bad bit. <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long? My dear, I'm sorry. I've been so busy. Look at you. Your levels have changed. Mm -hmm. You have forgotten everything about me. Ah. In fact, about us. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, don't you miss our favorite bar? <laughs> How I wish you know how suffocated I've been in this palace. When can you go? I need to drown my frustration in Akuba. Uh, Chuma. I think you're talking to the wrong sister. <laughs> you should be talking to my sister Adeze. She's your friend, right? <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> and both type of best friend that we not recognize her best friend anymore. <laughs> I think getting to know someone goes beyond their faces and physical appearance. <laughs> and um, what are you trying to say? <sighs> My dear, what I am trying to say is that I know my best friend. I know who my best friend is and I will continue to visit her and I will continue to protect her secrets. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what I am trying to say is that I know my best friend. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know my best friend and I will continue to visit her and protect her secrets, even though I do not approve the measures she took. Um, speaking of videos, um, let's say I pretend to understand what you're saying. Um, uh, what do you get for your silence? Heartfelt gratitude and willingness to respond whenever I ask her for anything. Ha, <laughs> 
Greetings, Your Majesty. You are welcome. Can I have a minute with you? I want us to talk about something. Mm. Okay, just uh, bring that seat and sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. What troubles you? Your Majesties, I never wanted to say this because I love my sister so much and wish she can change and be a good person. But I fear for the sanity and reputation of the royal family. Speak. You have our attention. Your Majesties, my sister has always been a wild child. She has always caused problems for our family. I've had series of relationships in the past and when it gets to marriage, she will sleep with my fiancé and the marriage will break. She even drinks around and smokes weeds. She's bad for the palace. I suggest you sent away. Hmm. My daughter, Sir. I feel your concern, but your sister is in the palace for treatment concern. As soon as she's done with the treatment, she will return home. But your majesty, that might take long. She's getting close to the prince and gradually seducing him. If something is not done, History will repeat itself with devastating consequences. And you wouldn't want that to happen, do you? I am in pain. I am heartbroken. She's my blood, but she chose to hurt me. Your Majesties. You sent for me. Yes, we did. We noticed that you've been spending more time with others. Is there any particular reason for that? Not really. Except that uh, Adese is cool-headed and we always talk about inspirational sports. Sounds innocent. But that was not what we were told. We were told that Adese is a bad egg. She has always tried to steal her sister's man and destroy her happiness. So what are you telling us here? Who told you this, mom? Who found it so easy to speak low of another person? It doesn't even matter how or where we had it from. The most important thing is that the stability and sanity of this kingdom lies with you. I mean, you can't be caught in a scandal. That will tarnish the image of this royal household. So. The earlier you focus completely on Adana and forget everything that has to do with Adeze, the better for all of us. What has come over you? Why this sudden change? I wanted Adana here so badly. But ever since she came, the feelings is different. Is that why you're spending more time with her twin sister? 
is hard to explain. You see, the peace and calmness I feel now with Adese. It's the same thing I felt with Adana before the accident. You're right, my prince. Just as hard as it is to explain what you just said, it is hard to understand. Could it be the result of the accident that changed their behaviors? Or is it any scientific explanation to the change? My friends. Maybe you're the one thinking like that. Coming close to two twin sisters at the same time can mess up with your head. I suggest you stick to Adana. She's the one you're engaged to. That's exactly what the king and the queen said. But lately, being with a daisy relaxes me. It makes me happy. We're supposed to be talking about your romance with the prince. Oh, will you shut up? I told you not to get comfortable with your stay here because I'm not happy. Why do you think I am going to discuss my relationship with you? I don't know. Is there something I'm missing? You're missing a lot thanks to your lost memory. But I will help you fill in the blank space. You were slutty. You slept with my boyfriends and ruined my relationship. You've always had the habit of going after everything I called mine. I don't know. I don't feel like that I'm capable of doing something so low. But if I did, I cannot remember. Why does it feel like you're punishing me for my past mistakes? Oh, stop the crocodile tears. It is called past. When you have changed. But you're still the same. You're still going after the prince. I can see that the goddess of lust in you want to have him. I don't know why you're saying this to me. Why? You're doing the same to me. Eh? You're doing the same with me. Just back off. <laughs> Stay away from the prince. If you want your previous atrocities in the past to be forgotten or to be forgiven, just back the hell off. Leave the palace! I don't know. Huh? You're right. I'm, I'm here for the treatment. Huh? I will leave as soon as I'm done. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You will leave as soon as you're done. You can still get that treatment at home. Just leave the palace. Leave the prince alone. I am in horrible things I did to Adana in the past. Now she doesn't want to have anything to do with me. What did Adana tell you? Mom, you already know. 
You already know how I slept with her boyfriend and ruined her happiness. What sort of a person does that to a sister? Mom, why didn't you tell me I was such a monster? When I asked who I was. Because whatever I or Adana tells you is not the entire truth. The entire truth about who you are lies in your memory. Therefore, you have to fight to regain your lost memory. Okay? It's only when you regain your lost memory. Whatever you remember is who you truly are. And that is what you will believe. Oh, I feel miserable. I wish my memories could return. It will, my dear. It must return. And until then, everything will return to what it should be. Okay? Just okay. Smart you play One day every secret must be unveiled Nothing is hidden under the sun When it's your time I love you That's what you want to do What are you talking about? Why are you punishing yourself for mistakes of the past? If anybody doesn't see the goodness in you, it's their fault. But I do. You're a good person. Are you serious? What are you... So, so I should pretend now that we are enemies. That we cannot even exchange pleasantries, right? Is that what? what? Who is behind this? It doesn't matter who or what. Just concentrate on this. Think politically. She should be the one she should be talking to, not me. me to continue to play the angel. I'm supposed to forgive my sister every time and she messes up and I open my arms again to let her in to win the, my next big thing. But she has changed. How come I'm saying it and you're not saying it? Because you see what Adese wants you to see. She has always been seductive and manipulative. You're not the first man in my life to be fooled by her. Okay, tell me, what is her game this time? Playing nice, or should I say, playing perfect and innocent. Don't fall for that, okay? 
All I'm saying is that your sister needs you. She needs happiness. Advocate for her like you always do. I know. Just be my fiancé and let me worry about my sister. Your concern for her is making me feel that. You look so troubled, my daughter. Whatever it is, let me know. Just tell me. Why do you look sad? Your Majesties. I don't know how to deal with emotions. I've been hated for something I did in the past, which I cannot remember. I had have done horrible things in the past, but I know I'm not capable of doing such. I, I want to be a good person. I want to right the wrong. But how can I succeed when I'm constantly being judged and reminded of my past? Adese, I feel your concern. Honestly, I feel your pain. But change is the only constant thing. You have to give people time for them to know that. Adese, you are different. And I've heard only great things about you. You see, same here, my daughter. Right? I am very happy I invested into the company. You are making this king richer by the day. Yes. We are so proud of you, my daughter. Thank you, so Your Majesty. Can you? I've stayed away from the prince. What else do you want from me? You kept your distance from the prince, yet you went close to the king and the queen. You wanted everything I have. You always wanted them. Now you're working so hard to have them all. I don't know. I was only trying to have a conversation with them. I wasn't trying to steal them from you. Oh, will you shut up? I bet you're having a conversation to impress them. You always like to be the shining daughter of Lady Margaret. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you okay? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Are that's okay? what that's what she does to get attention. She's fine. Just, you, oh, you can see it. No, you can see it. You're not fine. Are you? Are you okay? No, um, I'm. Fine. You can see it. Okay, come I just check. need to lay down. My head feels heavy. Please. My princess, I told you she's fine. She, she yes, okay? no, she's fine. Like I said, that is what she does to get attention. Attention? Yeah. I've said it before. Doesn't matter how smart you play. One day every secret must be. your time nothing can stop you what will be could be what's written is written all it needs is time that is very beautiful this must have some historic significant and priceless value exactly 
This ring has been in the royal family for at least 10 generations now. Wow. Adana rejected it. She Is wants she... something expensive and flashy. Is she crazy? This is way more expensive and quality than any modern jewelry. What baffles me the most is the first time I put the ring on her finger, she appreciated it. She loved it. And she said these exact same words from you. I don't understand why the sudden change. She seems different. Your Highness, maybe she wants something people will understand. It's only creative and family-oriented people who understand the worth of this ring. Your Highness, please, can I test it? Can I wear it and test it? I want to know how it feels. Well, she has rejected it. And it makes me feel she has rejected my heart. I'll put it on your finger. Maybe she doesn't mean it that way. Please understand. It doesn't matter. She's terrible now. She'll be fine. Oh, that's, that's a very great news. So what happened? I'm still wondering what actually led to her fainting. We were just having a conversation and suddenly she slumped. And she was un unconscious. Um, actually, I don't have the facts now. But I'm very sure she suffered from shock. Did she saw anything before she fainted? Because I, I know that amnesic patients like this uh, react to such um, uh, situations whereby they see something or they remember something and then they go through such uh, reactions. Um, well, uh, by the time she wakes up, we'll know what exactly happened. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Please keep a close watch on her. We want her to get better. you fainted at the palace today. I wanted to come but they assured me that you are fine and that you remembered something. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't come. I'm not angry with you, mommy. I'm a dumb and not a Desi. A Desi stole my identity. I cannot believe she would do something so despicable. So your memory is back. Thank God. Mom, you're not shocked. Which means you knew all this while. Why didn't you say something? Why did you keep quiet? Because if I pointed it out, you're still too weak to fight for what belongs to you. Remember when you asked me whether you are that bad? I told you to wait until your memory comes back. But I know that Adesa cheated. <laughs> it is still what it is. I cannot believe that Adesa will go this far. Trying to kill us wasn't enough. She went ahead to steal my identity. <laughs> my dear, you have to fight to regain your identity to take everything that belongs to you. But you have to be very intelligent and smart in doing that. Your sister is dangerous and desperate. 
So you have to be very smart. Okay. I am happy that my Adana is back. I'm happy too. Oh, welcome back, my dear. I missed you. I missed you too, my angel. It doesn't matter how smart you play. One day every secret must be unveiled. Nothing is hidden under the sun. When it's your time, nothing can stop you. What will be? Are you tired of playing nice to get the attention of the royal family? I never knew you would change your strategy. You play nice and changed? That is genius. You're very scary. You're not human. That would be you. Ask anyone. You are the wayward and manipulative one. Just because you took my name and life doesn't make you a good person. Even with my name and life, you're still a monster. Oh, <laughs> you remember everything. Wow, <laughs> your memory came back. Yes, I found out that you pretended to be me because you were wearing my engagement ring before the accident. I was unconscious, and you consciously told everyone that you are Adana. But I have bad news for you. I intend to take my life back. <laughs> Hearing this from you is believable by me. But would the royal house believe you? <laughs> they would think you came up with this brilliant idea to take my life. Remember, I've always told them that Adesa wanted what Adana had. And you are ruining your life for that. Adese, I will not be stuck with your life. A name that you continue to ruin. Why pretending to be me? Now listen, Adese. I will take my life back. Brace of sis. It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play One day every scene Oh, just one that you are here <laughs> There must be fire in the palace, right? No, mother If there is one Only your shining daughter will get burned <laughs> uh, Okay, let me guess You are here to tell me to tell your sister not to fight for her dear life. She should fade away and remain at the desert, right? <laughs> Mother, that would be the smartest thing to do. Considering the fact that I've once tried to kill us for not getting what I want. So you think I cannot try it again? <laughs> You're underestimating your sister. That someone is good does not make that person weak. You're wrong, mother. Being good makes one weak. And she cannot stoop so low to the level I'm about to go just to keep her life. Tell her I am ready to die to better than now and become the future queen. <laughs> how, how possible is that? Of course it is, mother. Your sister is light and you are darkness. You are evil and one day you will be exposed. Now get up and get out of my house. <laughs> I say get out of this room now. <laughs> I leave the house. <laughs> she is troublesome. Get out she of my house <laughs> now. She is devious. I say get out. Lacks respect. <laughs> She is wild and contemptuous. Who is she? She's a betrayer. I still they imagine the kind of art she gets. 
She's a betrayer. She will go through any length if she threatens you. Oh, she's a betrayer. Avoid the more. Your Highness. Are you still nervous of ascending the throne? Yeah, a little. Remember what I told you back then, when you thought you were going to fail as a king? I told you that a king draws his strength from his queen. Yeah, and it was very inspiring. I had that conversation with Adana. How come you are a dizzy nose? Adana told me. I wasn't there. How am I supposed but to know? But you just said, remember what I told you? That's what you just said. It sounded like the conversation took place between both of us. Respectfully, Your Highness. I think you heard me wrongly. There's no way I would have said I was the one you spoke with. Please excuse me. I need to go see my sister. for me. I'm convinced that I got your attention. <laughs> yes, you did. You intelligently tried to corner me and expose me back there. I must have underestimated you. Yes. Yes, I did. We don't think alike, despite being twins. Thanks to that, the level I am ready to go, what I am prepared to lose to get what I want, you cannot imagine. Adana, leave the palace or I kill myself. <laughs> Adese, you lied. How can someone who loves life and nurture to be the future queen kill herself? Adese, I don't care if you die or live at this point. <laughs> Adana, you do. You care if I live or die. The same reason you always abandon what you want whenever I throw tantrums. Hmm. Adesi, try killing yourself and see when you get to the land of the dead, you will see that things have changed. Watch me, Adana. I said, watch me. What are you still doing here? Come on, get out. I mean. What are we doing here? I hope you're not up to one of your dirty mischief. <laughs> My friends, you mentioned to me that this place holds a very significant and a happy memory to you. Yeah, I did. When did we have that conversation? My friends, how can you forget? Well, it's okay, I remember, and that's enough. Um, Adana, huh? can you tell us the story that took place between you and the prince? What the prince said is memorable for you, but what are you talking about and what are you driving at? Do you want me to say the reason why I'm asking the question? Or you go straight and answer it? My head. 
I don't know why. I can't just, I, I can't remember my prince. It's just that the accident just messed with me and I and I feel some blank space. Oh, my head. Really? My head. How can you forget this is the exact place that I asked you to marry me? Really, Adana? And you never said anything to the doctor. I was the one that lost my memory. But it, you seemed unaware and forgetful than me. Why? Oh my God. My head. My head. My head. My press, my head. My head. Doesn't matter how smart you play. How is it possible you have everything you ever prayed for, but you are still miserable? You are the future queen for Christ's sake. I abandoned her death to become a Dana. I stole her identity, but I still do not have the man. Because love, bond, and connection is beyond physical appearance. You stole her identity and not her personality. I would have had it all if she did not come back to wage this war. I am telling you, she does not know what I am capable of doing to keep this her life forever. Babe, please, do not do something stupid. The last time you did something drastic, you ended up in the hospital. Drastic is the only language Adana understands. And I will make sure that she's out of the picture this time. I know. 
That is why I, I prevented you from entering the place. Good. Um, I'll take care of everything. Okay, good. Please, take care of everything. was found in a cupboard inside your room and your sister is in her room with blood dripping from her hand you better speak now or I will call the guards on you your majesty I did not know how that knife got to my cupboard I'm innocent and I will never hurt my sister mother she's right I've spent some time with a daisy and I know her to a certain extent. She's not the kind of person that would ever want to do such a thing. Maybe someone is trying to frame her up. Then what will be their motive? She has never complained about having enemies in this palace. That is because I did not consider my sister an enemy. Your Majesty, Adana has been threatening to kill herself if I don't leave the palace. I never knew she would go this far. Then why are you saying this now? You think we will believe you? I'll just take it that you're trying to flip the narrative. Your Majesty, I did not do it. But now that I've seen how far she's willing to go just for me to leave the palace, may I take your permission to leave for my sister's safety? No, you will do no such thing. It's not your fault. I am not threaten to kill herself if I don't leave the palace. I don't want to lose my sister. It's better I leave for her safety. <laughs> how did you like my genius truck? I told you you've not matched me. A desert. you're right. I'm no match to your manipulations and deceit. Uh -huh. I can never stoop to the level you go, no matter what it has taken. <laughs> so you are acknowledging your defeat. You accept you failed. I failed, but not defeated. Mm -hmm. Nature is still on my side. Ah. I dare say. Nothing is hidden under the sun. And the good will always triumph over the evil. <laughs> After kicking you out of the palace and taking your life, you still believe you will win? <laughs> you were smart, but you're smart only in business. <laughs> Continue waiting for nature to prevail. I would have given the prince three sons by then. Why do you wait for nature to give you your life back? <laughs> Doesn't matter how smart you play. your time nothing can stop you what will be would be what's written is written all it needs is time all it needs is time what will be would be what's written is written all it needs is time all it needs is time If there is anyone who stumbled my theories and found logic in it, that person would be you. What are you thinking, my prince? Would you look at Adana, forget about her face, 
but attitude. Does she seem similar to you? I thought you would never ask. She seems like that little brat, a daisy. I don't know how she became Adam. Warning bell is going through my head. I think their faces swapped during the accident. But I need ironclad evidence to prove my theory. My friends, what do you have to do if such injustice has taken place? Then justice must prevail. Stand by me, Amaka. Remember, our suspicion has to be a secret because the perpetrator cannot be underestimated. to live your life as a daisy. That would be unfair. I know, Mother. I tried all I could. There are many ways to reclaim my identity. DNA test is there and fingerprints. So what is stopping you? I fear that a daisy holding on to my life is the reason for her living. If I take it back from her, she will die. Oh. Even to the very end. Even when you have been driven to the cliff. You still feel something for your sister. You still care for her. Mom. Adese is my only sibling. I don't want to lose her. If sacrificing my love for the prince is all it takes, so be it. I will not fight to reclaim my life again. But I know that one day, if nature is on my side, everything will return to its rightful place. Oh, my baby girl. Oh, my baby girl. Oh, my baby girl, you are such a good girl. Each time I look at you, I am proud of the woman you have become. I know that I have not failed in my duties as a mother. I did something right. It's okay. It's okay. You shouldn't be here. Please go away. I'm going to call off the engagement. I don't know what happened, but the woman I fell in love with, she's not in the palace. Nothing happened. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Go and marry Adana and leave me alone. I'm not coming anything closer to you. I can see it in your eyes. The hurt, the pain. The secret you are hiding. Are you hiding something from me? Nothing. Nothing is hidden. Have you ever been happy finding something and realizing that that thing doesn't exist? Go and be married to Adana. Or are you afraid of ascending the throne? <laughs> You're delaying the marriage to delay the coronation? Is that the best you can do to shake off my resolve? <laughs> But I guess you need to try harder. Hmm? In love and selflessness for your sister, you are carrying the bigger conspiracy she hatched. 
I remember you know everything that Adana only supposed to know or say. Everything. And that gives me the hope of uncovering the truth, the healing secret between you and your family. And trust me, if I look beyond the surface, I will find out the truth. And I will bring every hidden truth to light. I mean Hello, Thomas. This is the prince. Yeah, I got a sample. Please, I would need you to be very discreet about this. I'm on my way. Bye.
game over. Game over. So you stole your sister's identity after the accident, right? All you have is just the theories and baseless claim, mother. And there's a two of you. You still don't know your sister, do you? She's over there protecting you. She's not ready to let go of her name, her status, her personality, all because she doesn't want you to kill yourself. How long do you think you can deceive a future king? She refused to tell me the truth. Listen to this. If I cannot give justice to the one that I love, how then do I give justice to thousands of people that I'm about to rule? <laughs> if you have something to prove it, you would have shown that to the king. But we're still talking about it, are we not? That means you do not have any proof. Oh yeah, I do have proof. But you know why I don't want to show it to the king? Because you will get punished or killed. So I'm giving an opportunity to go back to Adana and ask her for forgiveness so she can forgive your sins. I've told Adana that without her life, I have no intention of leaving. I cannot save Adana and lose Adesi. So do whatever you want to do. Over my dead body, will I give Adana her life back? Excuse me. It doesn't matter how smart you play. Every secret must be unveiled Nothing is hidden under the sun When it's your time Nothing can stop The result of this DNA has confirmed our suspicion that our dead is Adana and Adana is our dead Margaret Johannes What do you have to say before I give my verdict. Your Highness, I've known all this while, but I didn't know that Adesa would go to that extent. I am their mother and I can identify them anytime, any day, without even looking at their faces. So, the DNA... Your, your, your Majesty, don't ever believe anything my mother is saying. She always tells me and, and she has come silent. Your mother is still talking. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the DNA result is correct. This is Adeze. And this is Adana. Your Majesty, it happened that on the day of the accident, Adana came back happily with the royal ring. We were busy admiring it. Then the sister Adeze requested that she have a feel of the royal hair room. Adana gave it to her. She wore it on her hand. Before we knew what was happening, she picked up her car key and zoomed off. Adana here immediately went after her in need the bid to collect her royal ring. And I equally rushed after them to make sure that there's no problem. Immediately, Adeze entered her car. Adana jumped inside the car too. They zoomed off. And that resulted to the accident. Then while at the hospital, because Adeze was wearing the ring on her finger already, she was mistaken for Adana. And Adana being unconscious and having loss of memory too, Adesa now claimed her identity. Your Majesty, I'm not to Quiet! With all these evidences against you, you are still ranting. My pronouncement is that you'll be taken to the market square, paraded naked and banished forever. Your Majesty, please, please come for justice and mercy. I am forgiving her. Please forgive her to your Majesty, Majesty. Please. please, I beg you. Please, please. She's my daughter, you call it. Please, have mercy. Mercy, please. Please. Well, because of all these people, I will reduce the punishment. You will still be banished, but for five years. Get! Your Highness, take her away. 
This royal couple. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, congratulations to you two. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Margaret. Your Majesty. I invited you to thank you for the cooperation you and your kinsmen gave us during the royal wedding. <laughs> and uh, because of your cooperation, I want to inform you that you will join the royal family for a tour of East Africa. Oh my God! Wow! Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. No, no. Thank you so much. You're always welcome. My friends, I'm grateful. My God! My God! It's time. 